A dramatic conclusion to one of the most exciting episodes of Dread Zone I have ever seen. Captain Starshield, the number one ranked gladiator, has been terminated by Ace Hardlight. Ace has now eliminated a record 13 contestants in the regular season. <laughs> Incoming call from the mayor of Metropolis. The <clears throat> new mayor of Metropolis. Oh, you mean, right. <laughs> uh, just a sec. Um, uh, greetings, mayor. I, no, 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 um, well, long time no see. Uh, no, uh, so Metropolis still in one piece, huh? <laughs> uh, greetings, Captain. I see you're taking good care of my old ship. Well. She need a lot of tuning up, but I've kept her running. <laughs> of course. <laughs> anyway, I'm afraid I bring bad news. As you know, Captain Starshield disappeared over a month ago. I've just been informed that he's been killed. Oh my gosh. No. Oh, what happened? Apparently he was involved with some kind of illegal combat sport. Something called Dread Zone. We believe it was being run by this man, Gleeman Vox. He operates an underground media empire from within the Shadow Sector. The Shadow Sector? It's a lawless region of space on the fringe of the galaxy. Many other heroes have disappeared recently, and we fear that they might have met with the same fate. Ratchet, I just wanted to warn you before... Unidentified craft approaching. Uh-oh. Lombacks known as Ratchet. Um, I don't suppose you guys are here to fix the starboard engine, huh? Give him collars, and see if you can get some work out of them first. Hello? Hello in there? Can you hear me? You've been unconscious for hours. You're probably a little disoriented. Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Whoops, it uh, looks like we've got a feedback loop in the visual matrix processor. Hold still a second. How's that? Okay, now to activate your speech function. Me out of this thing, you blarg-headed frack monkey! I can barely breathe and my tail feels like it's shoved right up my... I, 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 there seems to be a problem with the speech circuitry. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at it later. Now hold still. Let's just see if I wired that teleportation circuitry right. The new armor you're wearing is standard issue for new contestants. Contestants? We will explain later. If you do not complete the qualification course in the allotted time, we will all be terminated. We must calibrate your battle suit's targeting matrix. First, look over at the hollow target on your left. Turn to face the hollow target on the right, then fire. Good. Now shoot the hollow target above you. All right, Ratchet. Your movement circuit should be in working order now. Try getting to the top of that ledge. I am transmitting a digital minimap representation of the area. Can you see it? The minimap will show you the positions of nearby enemies. I am reading three more hollow targets in your vicinity. Good, Ratchet. There should be a teleporter nearby that will take you to the next stage of the qualification course. Three, 
Greetings, hero, and welcome to Dreadzone. Rest assured, you are now far beyond the reach of hope. There will be no rescues, no pardons, no possibility of escape. You are now a contestant on the greatest television program that Galaxy has ever known. A celebrity gladiator battling for the pleasure of a billion screaming fans across the Shadow Sector and beyond. Chances are you'll be dead by tomorrow. But those of you who play the game with skill and strategy will earn a chance to win your freedom. So, good luck, hero. We'll be watching you. <laughs> Ratchet, I have figured out a way to get information to you without Vox knowing. Pay attention to secret messages at the bottom of your screen. At the top of your screen is the experience bar. As you destroy enemies, you gain experience. When the bar is full, you will gain a level, and your nanotech will increase. Hold R2 or triangle, and use the left analog stick to select any weapon. Tap R2 to switch between recently used... Note the deadlock collar securely fastened around your neck. This collar cannot be broken or removed. Should you stray into any restricted area, the collar will administer an extremely painful shock. Observe. I hate this job. Should a contestant become uncooperative or worse, boring, his or her collar can be detonated at any time with the push of a button. There you have it. Nothing to lose your head over. <laughs> right? Congratulations, Ratchet. You made it through the qualification course. Check your map. There should be a teleporter nearby. Use the teleporter. This place is crazy. I've always wondered what it'd be like to be a professional gladiator. I mean, these guys have the life, the fame, the money, the babes. Try not to forget that we are being held prisoner by a criminal organization. This is no time for fantasizing. Welcome, hero, to your new living quarters. Your luxury containment suite is equipped with everything you will need as a contestant on Dreadzone. Please make yourself comfortable. Hey, Al. Oh. Hey, Ratchet. I have something to show you. Meet your new battle bots. Call me Merc. This here's Green. Uh, hi, sir. I got them off a former contestant who, um. Uh, won't be needing them anymore. Don't worry, boss. You won't end up like that last guy. I hope not. I still have nightmares about it. Oh, suck it up, Green. Once you win a few battles, we can afford to upgrade them. Just come and see me whenever you want to juice them up. <laughs> You ever been in country? You know, seen combat? Me? Yeah, before I came here, I saw a little act. Hey, nice digs. Um, digs? I mean, what's all the hardware for? Ah, they call this the mission control room. Each contestant is assigned a mission engineer to monitor their progress. Right. So, what's his face? Figured he'd save a few bolts and make you do it. Uh, hem. All right, fresh meat. Enough chit chat. You're next up in the Battle Dome, after Mobius, man. And from the way he's fighting, it won't be much longer. Now move it! Ratchet, I will assist you any way I can. Thanks, Clank. These guys obviously don't know who they're messing with. 